Hi, this is Saad Mehboob and in this video, I'll be going through the data refresh and data gateway. So it's very important that the data that you have in your Power BI dashboard is up to date. What if you have some changes in the in the data that is in maybe lying in Excel or some other resource? Now they can the, the topic is very vast and there are many use cases that we can discuss. For now, we are gonna restrict ourselves uh, in a use case where the data that is lying in an Excel sheet in your um, in your hard drive. So our first use case is let's look at this data. So this is let's say our training. Uh, this is uh, our sample data that we made our dashboards that we use to make our dashboards. So there are 15,000 rows. And and if I show you, this is the same data that we made for sales dashboard. I have opened another extra page. And I just uh, dropped my count of order IDs so that I can see how many orders were there altogether. So I can see that there are 15,000 orders. As same the case with the Excel sheet, there were 15,000 rows, every unique. So I just create some random numbers and 9876. So now there should be 15,001. I just make the number of uh, orders a bit larger so that it's it can be easily seen on that number. So I'll paste it here. So although every order should be unique, but I'm just doing it for the sake of explaining a concept. Okay. Now I have to make one demarcation very clear that you have you guys have downloaded this Power BI Power BI file only. So the data that you have is already loaded in a data model and that is imported in Power BI. So this I'm talking about this table. So in order for and since you have only downloaded the Power BI file and not the source file I will provide you the in the attachment the source file as well so what you have to do is ensure that your data connection is properly linked else the upda any updates in the data won't be reflected so I'll go to the edit query this is the the kitchen of power bi what you can say where all the transformation of the data has been done and you can say that the source is this file so and when you download this this would be the data source which is not correct because when you uh, this is the address of the file in my desktop so for you to make it work you have to download the file and you have to copy the link of that file i'll just give you a walkthrough hopefully hopefully you'll understand so i have this file in my Power BI dashboard, creating dashboards in Power BI. So this is my file called training data. So what I'll do is I'll click here once. I'll copy the file name first. I'll copy it here. And over here, I'll make a backward slash and, and then copy this file name. And then I'll copy it and paste it in the same data source for it to work. Once I have pasted the link, I have to press close and apply for the data model to work effectively. Now, coming back to my file, so the, currently there are 15,000. So if I, and in my Excel file, I have somewhere around 83 more rows added. So for it to, so there should be 15,083 for it to reflect these changes. What I'll do is I'll press save and I'll click the refresh button on the top shown here under the home ribbon. I'll click refresh and there the, let the data load in the data model. And here you go. The data updates are now shown correctly in Power BI. And I have the option, I, one option I have 
I can e even show you right now that if I see the same changes um, let me just pause the video let me open Power BI app uh, Power BI online and we will see the changes okay so now I'm logged into my Power BI I can see my dashboard and everything is working fine however when I let me just drop down um, into the report mode let me edit my report let me see how can I edit my report edit report and in the worldwide export LLC I just bring down the order ID the count of order ID and when I do that it is reflected and that is reflected only because I have a data gateway installed and in order to do that I'll press I'll click the download button and download a data gateway which is um, a sort of a bridge between your desktop Power BI um, your on-prem data source and your Power BI online so once you download it with your data connection will work fine so let me download it I shall tell you this takes a lot of time so I might pause the video just to make it work and I have already downloaded it I'm just repeating the steps so it's ask you different options gateway should be installed on a computer that is always on I'll just go with the personal board because I really I just want that I want my power bi to be updated okay I'm not really concerned with the live query for power bi for now because I, my data is loaded in my power bi model so let me pause the video because it's going to take some significant amount of time and I'll come back to you when it's done okay so we are back where our data gateway is being installed and this is showing the path on which I need to be any I want it to be installed I accept the terms and I go through it okay while it's gonna take a while not so much okay so let me pause the video to save some time okay so the next step we have here is we need we are asked to enter our email address that is our power bi email address with which our power bi online is associated with so i'm gonna add that I have my Microsoft 365 subscription so it's gonna prompt you to end your username and the password you just entered your email address and then I'll enter my password it's already saved so that will save me some time okay so my uh, you have already set up an on-premise data gateway some of the data sets may not refresh until you update your credentials so yeah that's what I mean to do so I'll, I'll show you how I update the data credentials okay I'll pause the video to let it load all right so now our data gateway is now installed it shows the data gateway is online and ready to be used some of the details of the data gateway I'm not gonna go in much detail just that if I need to restart the data gateway I have the option some network settings and the default uh, data gateway path so I'm gonna close that and go back to Power BI online 
So now I, I am on my Power BI Online app. Okay, so now I am on my Power BI Online. And I'll go to my dashboard settings. I won't save it now. And um, I will go to my dashboard, which was my, uh, sorry, reports, which was my sales dashboard. And I'll, I'll go to the settings here. Yeah, sorry. So it was manage gateways. I need to set it up first. So I'll go to the settings first. Yeah, here I go. So I have, I'll go to the dashboard. Uh, my data sets, which was my sales dashboard. And I have my gateway connection here which I establish and here it's showing that at the, as a status that it's working correctly. I'll check the data source and credentials. Here I'll just edit credentials and sign in again. I'll just leave the option as none. And the data gateway will then work perfectly. So now I have my um, data gateway installed properly. And hopefully, um, one more thing that I want to talk is if I, I could do schedule refresh. So I could schedule a refresh daily at 2.30 2 p.m. at the interval of half an hour each. So the other option, there are tons of options that you can explore. But the main one I've covered. So I'll, in the end, I'll give you a, um, I'll put you, I'll give you a document which is linking you to the Microsoft documentation where you can um, browse the resources. So hopefully that uh, this um, tutorial helps you to explore the how the data can be connected and be stay updated through the use of data gateway and data refreshes. Thanks for watching.